They're all over the place. We've got some here in the studio. Can you tell? Most likely your home as well, but you don't think about lights as being liquid. We've got Dan with Imagination Station here to show us otherwise liquid. Yes. Interesting. So today we're going to talk a little bit about light bulbs, and this okay. is like your classic example of a light bulb. You know, sure. You get an idea. This is the old school okay. light bulb now because they've so changed. This a is an bit. incandescent light bulb. There you go. Is what they're called, and you can see on the inside it's got this uh, filament. It's made from tungsten, and it's very cool. This is a very bright light. Bulb. Bulbs, yep. a 200 watt light bulb. So That's I'm going to turn it on here. That is very bright. You can see it's very bright, Kay. but it's a very inefficient light bulb. What does that mean? It just takes a it lot means of energy. The energy that it takes in, mm. only a very small fraction of it is actually turned into light. Okay. The rest of it is actually turned into infrared light, which is heat, right? So you can actually. That's why, even back here, I can feel it a little bit. You can feel the yeah. heat from that. Kay. So it's very inefficient. So today we use things like, you know, compact fluorescent mm -hmm. light bulbs at right. home or even LED light bulbs are even better. Um, it's actually like the inverse. So like these take most of the energy and turn into light, just almost no heat. And that's why they're expensive up front, but over the lifetime of over them, the lifetime, they use very it's little. Energy. It's great for you and it's great for the environment. We're okay. using less energy. So I thought we'd explore a little bit about these uh, incandescent light bulbs. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now they have a like this glass envelope around them. Right. And th what that does is that seals in some inert gases inside. Right. Okay, and that helps make the light bulb last longer. Things like argon and xenon and things like that. So those are gases that are in there. I assume it's vacuum sealed or is it, it, it is sealed up. Okay. Right, it's not a vacuum because there is gas in there. Okay. Um, but it protects it and helps it last longer. Okay. What I thought we'd do is see what happens when we expose it to the air. Okay, let's do it. So let's grab some safety glasses safety and Safety glasses some gloves. first, okay. Um, what I'd like to do, Ryan, is we're actually going to smash and try to get rid of the glass, but not break the tungsten. Okay, so we're going to be kind of gentle about it. Okay, so you can grab that hammer there. I'm going to place this underneath, and I just want you to gently tap the bulb, and we're going to try and not break the, well, we broke the filament. Oh, okay. come on, Ryan. That's totally fine. Jeez. Uh, look, I've got a backup here. I'm just so strong. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, this is got our tungsten filament right there. Okay, and so it's right in there. It yep. heats up, you can only go ahead and grab the stem Okay, there. I'll grab this guy. And this heats up to like over 5,000 degrees. And we'll see what 5, that- 5,000 degrees? 5,000 degrees, okay. it's really hot. We'll see what happens when we turn it on. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what this looks like, 5,000 degrees. Okay, 5,000, whoa. Okay. It's like smoking. So it's very bright and it's smoking a little bit, but look at that. It doesn't last too long. Okay. That's all because the longer it lasted? That enough heat and being exposed to oxygen actually yeah. oxidizes all that tungsten out there and actually breaks the coil. So I can uh, see it. It's broken up there. Broken. So that would be Jay a very, that'd be, that's, that's a waste. It's then. the most inefficient a light bulb could ever be. Okay. Okay. Now, what would be cool is they actually, you can put that down. Okay. They actually have inert gases inside, and one of those inert gases is nitrogen. And I actually happen, you know, I just happen to have you some. You just happen to have some in your back pocket when you liquid, were coming in here today. liquid nitrogen here. And the cool thing about liquid nitrogen. I get that cool. Is it's constantly boiling and turning into a nitrogen gas. So I'm going to actually put some into my container here. Okay. And I wanted to see what happened if we maybe some, can we got, we have this kind of light bulb shaped thing. Yeah, it right? looks like it. It's upside down, but it's um, there. Okay, gotcha. I want to see what happens when we submerge our filament in this liquid nitrogen. Okay. So, Ryan, I'm going to pull this closer. Okay. You, you just want me to gently it straight down? Yep. down the middle into our liquid nitrogen there. And then we're going to turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so we've got it all the way down. You can oh, keep yeah. going all the way down into the liquid. Into the liquid. Into okay. the liquid. Okay, here we go. I think we're in you there. You ready? Yep. Here we go. We're going to turn it on. Three, two, one. Okay. So what's happening is that liquid nitrogen is actually protecting and keeping all the oxygen away. Oxygen can't get down in so there. So it's not oxidizing. The, it's not oxidizing, so it'll actually last as long as we have it in there. Or it'll last for a while. It'll last for much longer than if much it was outside Much longer than like being outside and being oxidized. It looks like a cool like, little party right? globe or something. And you can actually even pull it up a little bit. And even if it's not inside the liquid itself, but it's kind of more the protective. nitrogen gas is kind of forcing itself out and not letting any oxygen in, so it can't oxidize and it will stay lit. That looks right, pretty for cool. Much much longer, and it, you know, it gets this nice ambiance. It is. It's, it's kind of a cool little scene nice that little you have effect. here. All right, so let's take it all the way out now. Okay. Let's take it all the way out. All right, so now we're exposing it to the oxygen. Now it's exposed. Okay, and the oxidation takes place, and the light bulb. That seems that. very inefficient. Very inefficient, but that's why, you know, that's why we got the LEDs now. So we got the LEDs. Okay. 
So is that, LEDs, isn't that cool stuff? LEDs work a lot better. They're a little more protected, I assume, and they, they use energy at a much better rate. Much, much better, yes. Okay, very cool. What else you got going on at Imagination well, Station? Well, if you come on down, we are doing some things with some LED light bulbs. We're making sure. blinky badges in the think tank on the weekend, so you can come Fun. on down, sign up for a workshop. And then later on in October, we're going to be dissecting some cow eyeballs. Oh. So if you want to sign up for I've those workshops. That there in the think tank on the weekends. Okay, right. lots of fun stuff all the time at Imagination Station. Oh yeah. Dan, thank you very much. No problem. All right, we've got more WTOL living your day in just a moment. Stay with us. I can't believe how that thing lit up.